I tell you, this is absolutely fantastic. <laughs> this is good. And when I saw your bag, I love your, your bags. I, I can't believe I got some of the originals, I think. Uh, well, that's good because then you yeah. have, a, have a, a good understanding. Oh, uh, my, one of my, uh, my bypass tool cases uh, for picking lock picks and everything. It's in uh, just one, one of those, the small ones. And that's my, my go-to for every lockout I have. And, uh, you know, it's just uh, amazing stuff. We're, and you found like, out you found out about them up in the. I don't know place, how I found. I just I I like I, again I like qual I like to be organized, I like quality tools, so I I I and I never I was always searching for what's the perfect, tool tool thing for my cases, and I was buying stuff like I said some of the other products, and after a year they were beat up, they were falling apart, uh, it's just and and I couldn't get everything organized the way I liked it. I tried the. Uh, the plat tool cases, mm -hmm. uh, briefcase, that was kind of fun. My go-to everyday bag, my everyday carry, is the short little tote open up at the top. Uh, I forget what brand, what number it is. And that's my everyday carry. I go to every job. If it's a lockout, I grab my little little one that has a little cover over to protect it. Mm -hmm. And that's what I go to. That's mm -hmm. everyday, whatever. It, and that lives in your vehicle, probably, It lives right? constantly, right. you know, and that's my go-to. And then I have some, now, you got some interesting products, uh, which I didn't know about, but, uh, you know, getting older, I don't move so well. Uh, I don't want to <laughs> carry my tools so much. So I, I've been looking for a roller bag. Right. Uh, so to, you know, take that out of the truck, roll it up to the, a lot of our, our stuff is in the city. So we mm -hmm. bring a lot of elevators. Right. So I, now that I see you have the roller bag, that's the, the tryout product. for. Yeah. Th those came out a, a couple of years ago. We yeah, started dealing yeah. with that. And I didn't even realize you had it. Uh, and uh, I'll just take a quick little walk. Sure. Walk. Just just show what we got on, yeah. on the whole thing. So it's, it's just amazing. How many different uh, skews? Yeah. Oh my God! It's it's getting over getting over a hundred. Um, and we have that. It's called V swap. That you can swap out different panels for different needs. Like if you want swap out a tool, a vertical tool pocket panel for a uh, laptop panel uh, or we have bulk storage panels that are basically set up if you want a bolt storage compartment and you wanted to put you know your your dedicated charger and the batteries in the cord the cordless uh, impact drill driver whatever it is so that you want to carry those you didn't want a lot of pockets in there we have those uh, panels available as bulk storage panels so um but this you know we have the backpacks we have the high biz that was um the mining industry over in australia they wanted the high biz so we made those and then you know all these small service tool pouches um this is the tech pack mc this is our small backpack but this has removable pocket here there's a counter flap here so you lift that up and you grab these little two D-rings yeah. and you pull it out because the panel belt grows in. So if you wanted to say like, I'm gonna bring my impact drill driver in here and I wanted to bring the the, the uh, charger and the batteries, let's say it's a Milwaukee, rid of these pockets, you'd store that in here or do it in the back and then keep these tool pockets here. So you have your, tool, your hand tools and your drill driver with the charger and the batteries on the back. As you can see, they're, they're stitched in here, okay. right? And so on a loaded bag, that puts a lot of stress on that stitch point and puts a lot of stress on the zippers. And it's not a positive connection with you, your body, to the loaded bag. So my idea was to stitch the, sh the uh, adjustable shoulder straps with the webbing here and then have this metal clip. So this metal clip bypasses where the shoulder uh, straps are okay, interesting, in. yes. So it bypasses, where these are stitched in, it bypasses a zipper. Now, <clears throat> you're positively, positively connected with the load right there. And then once you adjust these for your body size, which are adjustable down here, then you take these, they're, they're just rolled up now. You take these and fall down on them and it pulls the bag up on your shoulders rather than the bottom of the bag digging into your lower back. 
and it just gives you a much more positive connection with with the uh, with a loaded tool bag on that. So that's something when I designed the backpack, um, which was that was over ten years ago, and I, I looked at the backpacks that were on the market. Uh, Home Depot had one, and it was uh, bottom was rubber. It was warped. It wouldn't stay. Uh, it wouldn't sit firmly uh, on a table or on a bench. Uh, Klein had one. Uh, Klein ended up putting all the tool pockets on the flap. So when you open the flap, the weight of the tools would flip the bag over. Uh, we have a utility pad. The utility pad is a handle connected to a center panel down to a base so that ours naturally, the way it was designed like that already, it, it centered the load right through the center of the bag. So when you open the bag up, either way, um, it stayed vertical. It, did, it would not flip over. So all those little little details are things that go through, you know, in the designing of it. Um, we have <clears throat> like these bags here. These are small service tool pouches. You know, having a hook on here so that you come into it uh, working on something and there's some kind of Stick frame. on a ladder. <laughs> or, yeah, on a ladder or a superstructure. You can hang it up at eye level. So you're not bending over on the ground. So it's just saturating with, with all that functionality. A little pocket here where you can keep like wire nuts. This is the SBLD. It's a nice little service tool pouch. You can keep wire nuts in there. Little tool pockets on the outs here. They're, they're ones that flow through here. If you wanted to, let's say that you want to carry a long shank nut drivers or screwdrivers, you can run those right through that or multi tip screwdrivers. So those are open, there's an open bottom, one open bottom one there. But for all your small screw tools over here, tools in here, there's a neoprene pocket here. That panel is removable. If you want to take that panel out and put a small compact cordless drill in there, you can put that in there too. And then there's another pocket here. So as you can see, it's just saturating these with, with, uh, with functionality and then just making sure that they're well made. Has a plastic bottom. And once again, three things, that's wear and tear. In our rainy climate, the, that's the, the go-to, the plastic it, bottom. You it can put is. it anywhere, yeah, even, it's not it, sucking up water yeah. into your tools. And even for dew in the morning, you know, you, you're up and working on the roof with an air handler or something, or a condenser unit, and you set it down on the wet uh, a unit there, you don't have to worry about that, the plastic bottom. So we have a variety of small service uh, tool bags. Um, for everybody's, you know, basically for a variety of needs. And this this one's new over here too. This is a tool bag drill pouch. So you can put a cordless drill in there. If you're working up on a staging and you're gonna be kind of moving around and you don't want the drill to flip out and land on somebody's head, there's a little strap here so you can lock it in. Uh, but, you know, good, there's a clip here the clip's not really for clipping on your belt because it would sit up too high. And what I, what I would do with it. Clip it onto other uh, tool bags. Other tool bags. That's yes. primarily what that's for. Yeah. So I, what, what I would do with this, if I was going to be using this, I would put a dedicated belt in here and then just leave the belt buckled. And then you can hang it hang it up with the belt in your truck. Or when you're when ready to, to go to you're in the truck and coming in the morning, you're ready to go to work, and you're gonna be working out of this, you grab it and you just throw it over your shoulder, and then that gives you two free hands. One to open and close doors, or two hands to grab whatever other other tools you know, or my equipment. Favorite, favorite thing I love seeing is somebody has uh, a cheaper tool case, tool bag, and what what's the strap? It's your strap. Yo, use it for people. Is, 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 is holding really? up the uh, I haven't seen that. Oh, I see it a lot, you know, <laughs> and it's kind of funny. You, they've got your uh, your shoulder strap uh, tied to uh, your competitors, and the bags are all beat up like crap. And but they got your strap on. Oh, really? That's interesting. I haven't seen that. I, I wonder if your sales of straps is uh, you got quite a few straps going out just for people. Uh, well, I don't know where the guys have ordered that. You know, stayed yeah. independent and they just ordered it. You know, yeah. they, they could have ordered it. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. I've never worn out a strap. Never worn out of no, bag. No, the, the, the straps. I mean, we have occasionally the clips yeah. uh, have have uh, we had a, you know clip that that broke or something like that. But that's that's very rare. And then we have the you know we have these lunch boxes here. We have two different sizes here. 
a little, there's a little tray that fits across here. We have our own ice packs now, so you can get a Vito Pro Pack ice pack. Put a stick in the freezer. Is the thermos cup yet? <laughs> well, we got the, the, the oh, little coffee the ones there. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, and, you know, we have Camel. We work with Mossy Oak. And Mossy Oak was the first one to move away from the military camo to do what basically, you know, going out in the woods and grabbing a handful of leaves and branches and throwing it on the on the barn floor, which is what they did, and duplicate that their pat pattern. This is their their new uh, breakout pattern. I like the high vis uh, so stuff too. The high vis stuff. Yeah, yeah, it just it helps you a night call on uh, in our business. Right. Night calls. Right. You can see us pretty good. I got a funny selective. Funny quick little story. We did the JLC Live uh, residential construction show. Uh, that was about a month ago. And a group of the, this uh, builder group came in and um, the, the, the founder and owner um, who is, is now, I don't know, he's probably in his late fifties, but he got a big gray beard. He's about six foot, he's about six foot five. And his son who was probably about seven foot two. And then the, about three or four other members on his crew. They were all big tall guys. They're from Marblehead, Massachusetts, which is up north of Boston. And they had come to, when I first launched Vito Pro Pack, they have some of the original bags. And so they come in and go, oh, Roger, what you? They were their thick Boston accent. Roger, what do you, you got to do this year? Like that. And so they're walking around and you know they're covered with sawdust and everything and walk around and go, ah, what's all this yuppie stuff you got here? All these bright, Right, orange cup colored bags here. Jesus, what are you gonna go in the upper fire and everything here? <laughs> so it's just great, you no know, busted chop with these guys too. Now do you have a pink bag yet? We do not have a pink bag yet. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing wrong with that, but it's uh yeah. it's uh we, we have uh, some locksmithing tools are pink. Right, yeah. Uh, and uh, some pink. Well there's the there, cancer thing too, the cancer connection too. Oh yes, uh, I never thought of that. Yeah, there's a guy in a pink suit last night as we were walking out to dinner. I congratulated him. I said, "That's a great looking suit," and uh, so he, you know, he thanked me out for, you know, for, for the cancer programs on that too. You know, we have bags that are dedicated, like for the plumbers, and they're called the wrenchers. And you know, you can put your uh, uh, pipe wrenches in because they have them drop zone. So you can drop, you know, you're not going to put a, a 36 inch pipe wrench. You can put a 24 inch there. But you know, normally like a 16 inch pipe wrench. You know, we have bags for timber framers. Anybody know what that is? We have the dedicated oh, bag okay. designed for timber framers. Oh, wow. We have the marine bag line. So there is there are bags for uh, fishermen, you know, heavy duty totes. We have a riggers bag. I worked with the head rigger from the uh, Mystic Seaport, Matt Otto, who re-rigged the uh, Mayflower too. That's historical rigging. It's amazing what he does. And I worked with, I did, I, I've been a member of the uh, Mystic Seaport for years. They're always looking for funding in the fall. And I said, called them up. He said, well, how many shipwrights do you have? They said, 24. Well, they never see the funding. I'll send them, I'll give them tool bag of their choice. And then a year later, I called up to ask for the shipwright's name because I wanted to design a rigger's bag. And this guy does, he can do contemporary yacht rigging, but he also does historical, historical rigging. It's amazing what he does. And I got his phone number, called him up and uh, said, um, you know, he said, hey, Roger, we, we love your bags. Thanks so much for donating. And I said, Matt, I'd like to pick your brain and design a rigger's bag. He said, oh, my God. He said, I use a Home Cheapo bag that I modified to make that. So I worked with Matt for two years to design the rigger's bag. It's not yeah. here, but it's just, you know, designing these bags to fit these functions, like the temper framers bag. This bag holds, it has horizontal slick pockets. The slick are the big uh, three inch wide chisels that these guys use for repairing tendons when they do the timber frame for the mortise and tendon joints and all too. So it's just designing bags for specific needs is uh, kind of our sweet spot is going in to do that too. So, but anyways, I've taken up enough time for all you guys. It was, this is great. Uh, thanks a lot, Roger. This is Roger from Vitro Pro Pack. Yeah, exactly. Thank you very much. All right, take care. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Subscribe to my channel. Also visit my website and you can see what online locksmith training I have for beginners, intermediate, and advanced, as well as my covert methods of entry and my non-destructive methods of entry.